here from James Mitchell. Sabu, you, sir, are on the fast track to extinction. Abyss had no problem with you until you decided to stick your nose in his business and interfere when he was in the midst of decimating Raven. Now, Sabu, you may be a hardcore icon, but not even you can withstand a head-on collision with a six foot eight, 350 pound weapon of mass destruction. So since you're so hardcore and I'm feeling charitable, let's do things your way. Let's throw the rule book out of the window and make this a no disqualification match. But just rest assured, Rest assured, Sabu, that when you stick your head through these ropes tonight, you will be signing your own death warrant. When you match up two of the most unpredictable, most out of control wrestlers in the history of this business, when you factor in James Mitchell at ringside in the corner of Abyss, you know this is going to be a match where the referee's role has to be merely to count three and raise the winner, maybe even raise the survivor's hand. They're gonna turn them loose here, it's no disqualification. I mean, we've seen Abyss in some of the most brutal matches in TNA history, but look at Shabu. This guy's got more scars on his body than anybody I've ever seen. He's been through the wars. I mean, think about what a man's gone through to get those scars. Yeah, think of how intimidating that would be to the normal wrestler. But you're not talking normal when you're talking six feet eight, 350 pounds of a monster named Abyss. Well, there's nothing normal about either one of these two guys. They're made of things that normal men will never, ever feel in their lifetime. The ability to ignore pain. The ability to come back when it's all been against you. The ability to go through tables and chairs and you name it. And to come back and live to fight another day. Sabu, able to get the boots up, catching the on charging abyss. This is the problem. Think about everything that Sabu has gone through here in recent times and, and the dedication that he's given himself to getting back in shape. I mean, he's as in good shape as I've ever seen him. Well, you're right, it really is an incredible success story. Sabu handed in a steel chair, I think, from the crowd here at the impact zone, but Abyss cut him off. And Abyss stomped on that chair and it caught Sabu's fingers. Reels off a series of right hands, but oh, Abyss caught him with the knee. Look out, Sabu to the stand. 
problem was that the chair, the table buckled on him, and it took Sabu a little bit longer to set it up the way he wanted to, and that gave up his time to recover, and now Abyss going for a, a table of his own. Yeah, you're right, Abyss underneath the ring, and we've talked about this before, he gets so focused with that tunnel vision, something like taking the table from underneath the ring, that enabled Sabu to come from behind, but I think Mitchell motioned or called out to Abyss that Sabu was headed towards him. I think you're absolutely right. You see, Abyss just right now just wants to get focused on his job as he sends Sabu back to the ring. But here goes Sabu, and wow! Comes right at him and catches Abyss right on top of the head. Springing off the steel chair, then crashing down directly across the fist to him out. But, well, you know what? Sabu not afraid to sacrifice his own body, and you just saw it there up close and personal. Well, he's going to have to. I mean, that's just the only way he's going to be able to beat somebody of that size. You've got to use your body and, and make the weight count more than it is. And by doing that, you've got to come over the top ropes and hit him from up high. You've got to get some kind of trajectory. And that's what he did right there. He's going to have to use every agile move that he's got. And a move like that as well. That's how you counter attack. 125 pound and an eight, eight inch height advantage at the same time. You take the big man down. Double spring. Oh, oh man! Sabu's on fire right now! DDT dropped him straight down, but you can see Sabu holding onto his chest as well. Well, every time you do something like that, it also has a, a price that you're gonna pay. And, and we know he's already gone over the ropes into the concrete a couple of times. He's gotta be hurting from that also. Pin attempt off the DDT, but Abyss, still life left, able to nice shot. lift him up into the air. And check this out. Sabu rocks him with those rights. Talk about a precarious position for Abyss. Oh, he's right there dangling on the ropes. And I'll tell you something, there was no open hands right there either by Sabu. Hey, it's no disqualification for the closed fist. All right, roll! Oh, man! And that had to hurt! He just slung him over! And he caught it and he didn't know! Oh, my gosh, you gotta show it! He takes him overhead, and wow, you see the results, and you see the impact. Look at that table. Well, you want to know how he got it? Sabu. A guy gets a thousand scars on his back. He just got two or three more right there. What an opportunity this is for the monster abyss. Oh, he's got all the momentum right now. There's, I mean, he, Sabu is out of breath. Fans motioning. It's time to One, finish him off. Two. two. Oh! Not that easy. Not that simple. Oh, that table was just demolished in front of us. I mean, you see wires and legs and everything sticking to it. I, I wonder how much damage was done to his body on that. Uh -oh. Now the opposite side of the ring. The monster abyss going underneath to get yet another table. Well, he's going for the kill right here. He realizes he's got Sabu reeling. Oh, Sabu though comes right at him with the right and the knee by abyss. Mitchell directing traffic at ringside. While Abyss going to position the table in the ring. We want the tag! We want the tag! Look out, Sabu with the steel tear shot! Catches him on the back right there. Oh, he breaks it right to the top of the head. Oh! You can just feel that, Mike. I mean, he just... One, two... Oh, showing the muscle. Just flung him back like it was nothing. Vicious, violent, lethal chair shots by Sabu. But amazingly, Abyss not going to be taken down for the three count. Oh, look at that. Battle worn body he's got right there. And I'll tell you something, that's, right now he's ignoring all the pain. Look at this. Mitchell right now.
right now. Oh. Sabu going to bring Mitchell in. He's got his back turned to Abyss. Tell you what, Mitchell took one right there for Abyss. As he knew he had Sabu so enraged. And now look at this. Got him in that torture rack, Mike. And We just can't see it on his face. Level of violence in this no disqualification matchup. Exactly what we anticipated. Again, Mitchell has a game plan. He's got some strategy. Abyss drops out to the floor. Mitchell laying down the ball. What's he saying? He's pointing now. He's going to get the time. He's going to get the ears. And listen to the crowd. They know what's in there.